Good afternoon, and welcome to LEUJ's Summer 2022 Commencement Ceremony. We are happy to celebrate this day together with our graduates, our faculty, our staff, board members, esteemed guests, friends, and families. To begin today's event, we would first like to welcome LUJ's Dean, Dr. Alan Brender, to deliver the welcome speech. Dr. Brender. Mr. Kiva and other members of the Sumitaku government, President Morgan, and Veritas President Black, LUJ and board member, Professor Karata, esteemed faculty and administrative staff, parents, relatives, and friends. We are pleased that you have decided to share today with the graduating students at this commencement. I especially would like to offer a warm welcome to our graduates. Lakeland University has held more than, Lakeland University of Japan, I should say, has held more than 60 commencement ceremonies. Each has had its own special moments and memories. But today's commencement is very special in many ways. Today, for the first time, a president of Lakeland University is here in person to congratulate you graduates, as is the founding father of Indonesia. The city government is also represented, and we have a special message from the United States Ambassador to Japan. Today, for the first time, a, uh, sorry, more important, we have you, the graduates. For the first time, we will be graduating bachelor as well as associate degree students in this new facility in the historic region of Rio Roku. Outside our windows, such traditional sites as the Kyu Yasuda Gardens of Edo Period Strolling Garden and the Edo Museum, reflecting the historic era, can be seen. Poking high above this traditional area is the modernistic sky tree. Like this area, LUJ represents the old and new. Lakeland's main campus in Wisconsin was established in 1862, at the end of the Edo period. And this campus in Japan was established by Dr. David Black more than 30 years ago during the bubble era. New for LUJ is this campus, in which we sit, and an expansion from a two-year to a four-year degree-granting campus. Today, LUJ will probably award its first bachelor degrees as well as our more traditional Associate of Arts degrees at this commencement ceremony. No matter which degree you are being awarded, the path you recently followed <laughs> uh, to reach this destination has been strewn with obstacles, many caused by the COVID scourge, such as the sudden switch to online classes and the shift back to in-person classes in the term that just ended. Learning a variety of subjects while trying to cope with the isolation you faced during the online period and overcoming numerous technological challenges have forged you into stronger, more independent individuals. You are amazing young people who struggle to learn demanding subjects on your own in a second, third, or fourth language while navigating through the turbulence of virtual reality. But you did it. You overcame the problems. You suddenly were forced to stand on your own feet, and you did. You developed fortitude, which, according to the enlightened English uh, philosopher, John Locke, sorry. <laughs> uh, is the guard and support of other virtues. You have matured in numerous ways. You have become resilient, self-reliant young people. You have faced adversity and prevailed over it. The hardships you endured solidified your characters and shaped you into the outstanding young people you have become and well-deserving of the degrees you will receive today. You have a right to be proud, not only of the degree you have earned, but more importantly, for being able to face challenges Meet your head on and conquer them. You have become resilient and self-motivated. Now you are ready for any challenges you may face in the future. You and your families have the right to celebrate your accomplishments. You not only earned a degree, but you also overcame adversity. 
You have earned the right to move on to the next stages of your life. And we, and your professors and I, firmly believe you will succeed in whatever avenue you choose to follow. We salute you, resilient citizens and strong leaders of the future. We now have the pleasure of sharing a personalized video message from the U.S. Ambassador to Japan, Mr. Rom Emanuel. Please enjoy the video. Hello, I'm Rom Emanuel, U.S. Ambassador to Japan. On behalf of everyone at the United States Embassy, I offer my heartiest congratulations to the newest graduates of Lakeland University, Japan. Unlike most graduating classes in history, you have endured a global pandemic. You experienced disruptions in your college education, unlike any other in recent memory, and I know that as a father of two students in universities. However, you did not give up, and facing that adversity has prepared you for the future. I know from experience that your tenacity and courage will serve you well in the years ahead. It is in times of failure, adversity, when we get knocked down and we pick ourselves up and put our right foot in front of our left foot, that those are the times that you learn most about what you're made of and your ability to handle and build a future. It's from adversity that we find success. It is not from success alone. At the U.S. Embassy Tokyo, one of our primary missions is to foster and deepen the United States-Japan alliance through exchanges. With the war in Ukraine, we are reminded, each of us, of the importance of our alliances and the values we share and build together. We want to ensure that our partnership and our sense of unity will continue with your generation, the next generation, building upon everybody stepping on shoulders ahead of us and the academic exchanges allow us to do so. I encourage you to use the knowledge you've gained, the skills you've acquired, and the networks you have built at Lakeland University, Japan, to value and continue to work to strengthen our partnership throughout the course of your future careers and wherever that takes you. As you consider the next steps in your education, I sincerely hope you'll consider studying in the United States. Like my experience as U.S. Ambassador to Japan, your experience studying in the United States will lead to exciting opportunities that you can never have imagined possible. On behalf of everybody here at the Embassy, congratulations Lakeland graduates. On to the next step. We are pleased to introduce and welcome a representative from the Sumida Ward Office, Mr. Yasufumi Kibe. <coughs> LUJ has been honored to work with the Sumida Ward Office since our relocation to Duoboku in January this year, and we are thankful for a member of their office to be with us today. <laughs> Yamamoto、墨田区から5挨拶をいただきますが、山本墨田区区長、並びに高野副部長は、公務の都合により、ご出席が叶わず、墨田区企画経営室、行政経営担当課長の矢部様にご出席いただいております。両国に移転してきた
ランド大学ジャパンキャンパスの皆さん、こんにちは。えー、墨田区企画形質行政経営担当課長の木部でございます、えー。区長から預かりましたメッセージを代読させていただきます。この度は、レイクランド大学ジャパンキャンパスのご卒業、誠におめでとうございます。レイクランド大学ジャパンキャンパスは今年1月に墨田区横浜にキャンパスを移転されすでに350人を超える学生の皆さんが本部で学んでいただいていると聞いております本日はキャンパス移転後初めての卒業式ということでこのような記念すべき日にお招きをいただきまして誠にありがとうございます墨田の町は江戸時代から連綿と続く歴史や文化が色濃く残っており木邸の桜や隅田川の花火大会両国の相撲など伝統文化が身近に感じられるところですまた明治期以降は日本有数のものづくりの町として発展してきました加えて近年は東京スカイツリーの開業をきっかけに新たな観光地としても注目を集めるエリアとなっております卒業生の皆様におかれましてはこの新しいキャンバスで学ぶ時間は限られていたかと思いますが本学で学んだ語学やビジネスのスキルを世界に向けて遺憾なく発揮していただくとともに私としてはぜひ歴史や文化観光産業資源が豊かなこの墨田区で新しいビジネスにチャレンジする卒業生が出てくることを心から願っております。また、本区では重要な取り組みとして、大学の知見を活用して、地域の課題解決を目指す、大学のあるまちづくりを進めています。今後、レイクランド大学の在校生の皆さんとともに、地域活性化に向けたさまざまな取り組みを行っていきたいと思っておりますので、ぜひ、卒業生の皆さんもお気軽に隅田に足を運んでいただければ幸いです。結びに改めて卒業を心よりお祝い申し上げますとともに卒業生の皆さんの新たなステージでのご活躍を記念しまして私からのメッセージといたしますご卒業誠におめでとうございます Congratulations for your graduation2022 年8月6日隅田区長山本を We now have the pleasure of introducing LUJ's founder to present today's commencement address. Without today's commencement speaker, we would not be gathered here today. For those that may not know our history, Dr. David Black had a vision for Lakeland establishing a campus here in Tokyo during his first presidency. He is a lifelong champion of global education, so this endeavor, endeavor was a natural fit for his skills and his passion. In 1991, the Lakeland Board of Trustees approved Dr. Black's plan to establish a two year academic program in Tokyo. And in 1993, the North Central Association of Schools and Colleges approved LUJ as an accredited branch campus offering an Associate of Arts degree. This past year, Thanks again to his vision, LUJ has expanded to offer the Bachelor of Arts degree. We will make history today when we award the first bachelor's degree, and it's fitting that he is here part of this moment. Dr. Black served as Lakeland's 13th president from 1989 to 1997, then returned to Lakeland in 2017 to serve as our 17th president before retiring from that position in 2021. He also served as president of Eastern College near Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Dr. Black is a dynamic leader, and his two tenures as our president have guided some of the most significant growth in our institution's history. In addition to the creation of this campus, Dr. Black's leadership has included development of Lakeland's first graduate programs, the birth of our cooperative education program, significant building projects at Lakeland University, Wisconsin, and the expansion of our evening and online programs. 
Upon his retirement, Dr. Black was awarded President Emeritus status by the Lakeland University Board of Trustees, recognizing his years of service and dedication to the success of the university. He also currently holds the title of LUJM Board Chair, the chair of the corporation which manages our operations here in Tokyo. Dr. Black is among the most important leaders in our 160-year history, and we are grateful to him for his vision, mentorship, and friendship. Dr. Black. Congratulations, graduates, and may day to gozaimasu, kazakuno ichi. Just a second of personal privilege. It's an old heart in here. There's a space in it that will always belong to you. It's such a privilege to be there. It's such an exciting opportunity to celebrate your graduation, our new place, my favorite presidents presiding. So on to the speech. About 30 centuries ago, a Hebrew philosopher was given a great responsibility by his king. Teach me to be wise, the king said, because my, my decisions affect so many in that young. The philosopher's response to the king was that wisdom requires both knowledge and action. You know, ready, shoot, aim kind of a thing. He, he, he advised the king that the king would only have wisdom after he had acquired knowledge. And this is interesting for you, after he had done justice, you do justice. And after he had learned to love goodness. By justice, the philosopher meant fairness and equity in a world in which there's so much inequity and so much unfairness. And by, by goodness, he used the same words that we see uh, in the jewels of Tao and then uh, uh, the virtues of Confucianism. Some examples. Compassion and kindness. Moderation and frugality, humility and modesty, borrowed from the from Taoism. And from Confucianism, the virtues of inner goodness, outer goodness, to what we call morality, and respect for the community and its values. That king, whom we now know as Solomon, is regarded in history as perhaps the wisest, wisest ruler of all, of all time. Those elements of wisdom, acquiring knowledge, doing justice and loving goodness, were the DNA of a wisdom tradition that would later inform the founding philosophy of the university whose diploma you will receive today. Lincoln was founded on that tradition of wisdom in 1862, and its students took the tradition so seriously that in 1863, they closed the school. Why? Because they were doers of justice. And America was engaged in a great civil war to end slavery, and so they bolted from their classes, closed their doors, marched south to free slaves, and in the process, had to learn to use a language that was not their own. They were all German immigrants. They had some of the same challenges as you. A year, two years later, most of them returned, some paid with their lives, 
but they came back to the campus, resumed their studies, and the history of the place since is very proud. And it still maintains that tradition of wisdom. So it's my privilege today as the founder of LUJ to humbly beg you to do justice in 2022 as they did in 1863. Why? What's the need? Well, I'll borrow a few lines from the, the data bank of the United Nations uh, Sustainability Goals website. Of the 7.75 billion plus persons living on this globe today, 713 billion do so on less than 225 yen a day. Nearly 3 billion are either without food or are undernourished on a regular basis. 55% of the world's children cannot read it at a proficient level. One in three victims uh, of trafficking are children. And more than 160 children are forced into child labor rather than escorted to school. 2.3 billion persons in the world lack safe drinking water. 3.6 billion do not have safe sanitation. 760 million lack access even to electricity. Of every 100,000 persons on earth, 321 are refugees. And we don't seem to care. That number is double since 2010. There is a climate crisis of devastating proportion, and it continues essentially unabated. The sustainability of our oceans is under severe threat, and the number of freshwater dead zones doubles every 15 years. We have lost 100 million hectares of forest in the last two decades. I don't want to depress you today, it's time to celebrate, but I want to call you, beg you, plead with you, do justice. Acquire knowledge, love, love goodness, the kind of goodness that might occasionally call you to take your eyes off of your screens and focus them maybe on the refugees. We are so Congratulations, and may you live a life of knowledge, justice, and goodness. We would now like to introduce and welcome the president of Lakeland University, Dr. Beth Gordon, who will first be presenting an honorary degree today. President Gordon, will you come forward? Paul Snowden studied modern and medieval languages at King's College, Cambridge. For the vast majority of his career, he has lived and worked in Japan as a university teacher and administrator, an author or editor of various dictionaries, textbooks, and other Japanese-related works. He worked for 30 years at Waseda University, where he served two terms as dean of the School of International Liberal Studies, the first foreign national to hold such a post at that university and was named Emeritus Professor in 2014. His most recent post was Vice President of Curran University. Having retired in 2020, he became the board chair for the Japan campus of Lakeland University. Paul's role with LUJ was critical as the campus managed through a pandemic 
integrated the overall Lakeland operations and management, added bachelor's degree offerings, and relocated all at the same time. Paul has been a trusted advisor and friend during this transformational two years. His dedication to global higher education and our mission is recognized today and will be recognized and realized for years to come as he has laid the foundation for this campus to flourish. This university recognizes and celebrates Paul Snowden's deeds and service to our community and our nation. And we extend our brief, deep gratitude to him today. In recognition of your extraordinary contributions to teaching and learning, research and scholarship, student formation, international education, administrative leadership and university trusteeship, Lakeland University is pleased to confer upon Paul the Doctor of Humane Letters degree, honoris causa, with all of the rights and privileges thereto appertaining. We mark this conferral of his degree by presenting him with a doctoral hood and a doctoral diploma. It is such a personal privilege to make this conferral with Dr. Snowden. Congratulations. And 
Nice sleeves, like chocolates. Pretty solid, pretty solid. It's just very useful for keeping secret objects. <laughs> Although our teachers at Commerceville High School, our teachers also wore their gowns during classes. And I remember once one of my teachers, a German teacher, used to use a sleeve of his gown. <laughs> I don't intend to do that. The MA gown was went down to the ground and the hood was also white but <laughs> now finally I had this this wonderful opportunity to be wearing this glorious item of uh, apparel. And I'm also entitled to write the letters B H D after my name. I should be very proud and very grateful to add the, the, the letters PhD to my CV. But I've retired. <laughs> so it's too late for me to use the PhD for job hunting. It's too late for me to use PhD for joining a better salary level. I can only enjoy making a few old friends very jealous. <laughs> you new graduates, on the other hand, in your short gowns, you have everything to go for. Those gowns represent what your graduation certificate shows you in print and what your teachers confidently remember about you. They prove, those grounds prove that you can and show that you can show the world that you have the knowledge and the intellectual ability and the potential to go on to greater things. In the next 44 years, or however long you remain active, I hope and expect that some of you will go on to qualify for an MA. And then a PhD. And then those new accounts that I know all of you so far richly deserve all of all that you have achieved. I, I must thank the President of Lakeland in Wisconsin for coming so far. I must thank the former President for the to the Museum. Thank you very much for coming. And I thank them not only for myself, but on behalf of all of you, because it shows how much the Lakeland University of Wisconsin is paying attention to you. How much that they are, they are value, uh, how much they value you too. Thank you for the American Embassy's uh, address. Thank you also to the School of Thank you so much. And to all the guests for attending. I know that today's graduates really deserve the support of all the guests who have come to. Thank you to all of my colleagues at LMJ for putting me up for this great honor, but also for working together in, during about three years that have been really interesting years. Uh, and I, I, I do think that this culmination uh, in this Thank you to my family for allowing me to keep working until the old age of 75. But finally, hearty congratulations. Congratulations, Sidis, eh? Thank you 
to all of you, uh, Patrick and uh, Thomas, uh, congratulations! <laughs> graduating class of 2022, the Associate of Art degree and the Bachelor of Art degree, with all of the privileges and responsibilities thereto appertaining. You may move your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations. present the diplomas to today's graduates. As your name is called, please come to the stage to receive your diploma. I will first call the names of those receiving the Bachelor of Arts degree. Andrew James Smeltzer.
Bier und Frau. that Ms. Kana Nakano has been selected for the Associate of Arts Outstanding Student Award. Ms. Nakano, please step forward to receive your award for outstanding service to LUJ and for your impressive academic performance. Mr. Simon Blondo, please come forward to receive the award to recognize your unique contribution to the LUJ campus and outstanding academic performance. on behalf of all the students graduating at LUJ today. There's a lot of people here. Uh, greetings, everybody. Uh, I want to begin this address by saying it's uh, such an honor for me to be standing up here in front of all of you uh, delivering this address. Uh, I don't feel that I am exaggerating uh, when I'm saying that I feel like anyone, all of you, could, be do, could do just as excellent a job as I'm going to do. But it is my honor and my privilege to give this commencement address on behalf of the Lakeland University of Japan graduating class in 2022. As you have probably noticed, uh, while, I'm, while I am studying here in Tokyo, I am not from Tokyo. I come from a small city on the southwest coast of Sweden. The reason that I decided to come to this city was that I had spent time here in Tokyo before, and I have to say I had a darn good time. So when the opportunity came along to me to do my university studies here in the city that I love, much to my parents' dismay, I decided to reboot up my life and come here. Today is special for several reasons. As most of you know here now by now, I am part of the first cohort of students along with Andrew, and at home we have Jordan and also Rilika, uh, to receive uh, the first bachelor's degree from Leisan University in Japan. And in the future, I know that there's going to be more of us. 
I know that there are classes that people will struggle with, mostly because I know that I have classes that I struggle with, but keep fighting, everybody. It's going to be much worth it in December. I have been here at Lincoln University of Japan since the beginning of January 2020, and today I am receiving my diploma for a bachelor's course. I have to say, it's not been the easiest of journeys. I think I speak for all of my fellow graduates when I say that arriving at this moment has been, to say the least, a pretty bumpy ride. Not taking into account the regular stress about school, such as deadlines, tests, group projects, and all the other factors that comes along with attending university. Yeah, our journey has really been long and serious. As I mentioned, I came to the university in January 2020, just before the world was ravaged by COVID. This applied a great deal more stress to all of us. Online classes, worrying about friends and family, not to mention the help it was to find toilet paper for China. This is why I think we've all endured more than a lot of other students have. This is also why I'm so damn proud of all of us for accomplishing what we have here at LUJ. COVID may have taken much from us, but it did not take our drive to finish school. For that, I really applaud you all. I want to give solemn gratitude to all of the faculty here at LUJ. Without you making classes interesting and fun for us, school would have been a lot harder. I want to give solemn gratitude to the rest of the LUJ staff who is here today. Thank you for helping us with our daily stresses here at LUJ, and especially thank you from us international students. Your help has been immeasurable. Extensions of visas, helping me find a, find a place to live before even coming here, among other things. I also want to give gratitude to all the people that are gathered here. Family, friends, our strong support through these years. Lastly, I personally want to give thanks to my fellow graduates. School can be a really dull place if you don't have an enjoyable time. And I can safely say that you all provided an enjoyable place for me to study. I know that a lot of these speeches include quotes from famous people, so I too want to cite a famous source here today. So in the immortal words of Sylvester Stallone, in the impeccable movie Rocky V, you, me, or nobody is going to hit you as hard as life. I think that we've all experienced this these last few years. COVID hit us all very hard and very deeply, but we persevered. We all decided that even though life hits us extremely hard, we all decided to get up and keep fighting. This is a lesson that I am, and I hope that you all too, bring with you into the next phases of your lives. Dear faculty, staff, family, friends, and especially you, my fellow graduates, thank you so much for these past few years. It makes me proud of what we have all accomplished. And let's all bring this pride with us as we tackle our next endeavors. And this time, let's all start hitting life. standing between you and your social, so I'll make it very quick, I promise. As everyone has said, it would be remiss not to acknowledge the resilience and the grit that you've demonstrated over the past couple of years. Your academic experience, experience certainly did not go as you planned, but you made it to the finish line. Each and every one of you figured out a way to make it to the finish line. Congratulations on your perseverance. And I look forward to seeing wherever your Lakeland experience takes you. I have no doubt you're going to make your alma mater proud. Congratulations. Thank you.